Boy Nage. I'm gonna start with two belts, or you can do one belt wrapped around something so you have two ends. I'm gonna use both sides, one on each side. One thing to think about that I find helpful is Tomoe Nage. I often hear people call this a stomach throw. I believe Tomoe means circle. So think of it as circle throw. I think people think uh, stomach throw because they're thinking about putting their foot on someone's stomach and then they're throwing from the stomach. But the circle is what I imagine when I'm throwing somebody to Moinage. My foot goes up, it might be on their stomach, it might be on their hip, it doesn't really matter. But the whole idea is I'm sliding underneath of them, creating the bottom half of a circle, and they become the top half of the circle, and that's what makes them get thrown. It's also one of my pet peeves when I see people do tomoinage is they jump up. They think they need to get their foot up high, so they're like, oh, I need to get up, so I'm going to get high. So I see people jumping up, leaving their base foot off the ground to try to get high up onto the body, either because they're not flexible or they just want to get up above the waist. The problem with that is you're not making a circle. One, I'm jumping up in a straight line as opposed to creating a circle underneath. Two, once I come off my feet, you're getting set up for a Kuri Burai or some other sweep where I don't have a base anymore. I don't want to go up, I want to go down. When my foot goes on the person, I'm actually dropping. In some ways, the way I get my foot up is by dropping first. I'm going down as my foot goes up. This is going to be hard to replicate uh, somewhere where you can't slide, but the idea is my base foot is actually sliding between the other person's legs. I'm making a bottom half of a circle and sliding underneath of them, making them become the top half of the circle. I'm going to replicate this with the Uchikomi. First of all, I'm going to hold my bands real close to the door. However far away from the door I need to already be able to put my foot on the wall. Uh, also, if you're using uh, body bands as opposed to belts, they have a lot more slack. Make sure to grab even closer so that when you pull, you can use the counter pressure from the belt or the band to lower yourself down to the ground. I'm going to grab close, put my foot up, see how I'm already kind of dropping my base leg and sitting as I raise my foot. From here, I'm using the counter pressure from the belt to lower myself down. I'm stopping just for a second just so you can see that part, but I'm going to continue the motion when I actually do it. I'm sinking with my foot on the ground. I'm using the belt for counter pressure. Once I do that, I'll just continue the motion and lift my leg. Other side. Sinking, foot on the wall, drop, and roll. The quick way up I like to do is once I throw, I put both the belts together, grab them with one hand on the outside, use it to help me stand up. This is another great workout with the getting up and down. Looks like this. Each. Knee. Son. She. Go. Broke. See. Good luck with your training. Tomoe Nage.